Hi, I'm Ben with E Instruments. As you probably know, horn players can play a wide range of different sounds. Even within a short phrase, you can find quite a number of different articulations. Today, I'll show you a quick and easy way to use multiple articulations of session horns within one Logic Instrument track. This is really useful if you want to utilize the large variety of articulations available in session horns. First go to your Logic Song and create a software instrument track. Make sure your instrument's MIDI channel is set to All and insert Native Instruments contact to the software instrument track. Now go to the Session Horns Instruments and select Session Horns Performance. Performance provides a number of articulations at your fingertips, such as doits or falls. OK, I've prepared a rough sketch of my brass phrase to show you a few of the different articulations available. So far, all notes are played as sustained notes, which is not what horn players would usually do. So, let's start changing some articulations. By moving the pitch bend wheel on your keyboard, you can create doit or fall articulations. Here I've included a simple pitch bend automation to get the fall effect. By playing at higher velocities you can access additional articulations which can be selected from the velocity switch menu on the upper left hand side. In this example I'm using Forte Piano Crescendo as my velocity switch articulation. Velocities above 116 will activate the velocity switch articulation, so I'll simply increase the velocity of the last long note in my phrase to get the forte piano crescendo instead of a plain sustain. For additional articulations, load a new Session Horns instrument. Note that this time I'm only adding the single articulation I want to use. Single articulations are available both in session horns and session strings. OK, let's add some staccatissimo articulations at the beginning of the phrase. Staccatissimo is a very short articulation in session horns. In order to use different articulations, every instance of session horns must be assigned to a different MIDI channel. We're using contacts default setting, so this is done automatically. To address the staccatissimo articulation, let's have a look at the lists window. It gives us a detailed view of each note, its MIDI channel, velocity and length. Changing the MIDI channel of single notes will send them to different articulations in your contact rack. Since we've selected MIDI channel 2 for the staccatissimo articulation, we simply change the MIDI channel of the first notes to channel 2 in the list. Now, instead of sustain, we get the staccatissimo articulation. Right, let's add a grace note in the middle. Simply add another single articulation instrument to your contact rack. I'll assign this instrument to MIDI channel 3 and select the grace note articulation from the drop down menu. To make this articulation more audible, I'll increase the length of the respective notes a little bit. Now I'll assign these notes to MIDI channel 3. To show you further articulation possibilities, I've loaded two more single articulation instruments using MIDI channel 4 and 5. One does a Mercato on the third note, and the other one adds a trumpet shake to the new high note at the end. Note that this even allows you to have different articulations in one chord, which is not possible by using standard key switches. As you can see, I can easily select my desired articulation 
just by changing the MIDI channel number. And last but not least, all this can be done in session strings too.